Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Mr. Kawaja. I'm entering my third year teaching at Christ the King. Third full year for some of you who know, I taught a quarter in the year prior. So three, three and a half years. So I'm doing something new this year, which is just doing monthly addresses. And my goal for these addresses is to get into the habit of addressing students or staff as a means for preparing for a role as an administrator. This is something I've thought a lot about since I started my career, but particularly over the summer of potentially a transition I might want to make in the next five to 10 years of my career in education. So for this video, the focus, we're primarily focusing on this main question, what is September all about? And I narrowed it down to a little acronym called ERR, which stands for expectations, routines, and relationships. So getting into it, in September, you know, it's really important to focus on those expectations. What are the expectations of students in their new environment, in their new age group? You know, we got a lot of new students at this school who are in grade nine, and they just transitioned over from junior high. They're in a high school now, and things are very different. The expectations are very different. And so as a teacher going in and making sure that these students understand what those expectations are and to clearly, concisely and respectfully convey those expectations. Additionally, what are expectations of myself to go through and teach the new students what those expectations are, right? So every September, you know, just like Sisyphus rolling that rock up the hill, every September, it's a new group of kids. They're new to high school and starting from square one, reminding them and informing them and teaching them these new expectations, this new role that they're in. Additionally, with old students as well, reminding them of these expectations. You know, you go for two months, summer, you're out there hanging out with family, getting outside, doing whatever you're up, doing whatever you're doing, getting whatever you're up to. And coming back into school, you know, the expectation changes, then everything is a bit different. So maintaining a degree of consistency in what that message is, what that expectation is of students and for myself. Next up, we have routines. So with new students coming into a high school, teaching students their new routine. In junior high, you know, your classes might only be 60 minutes long. Well, in high school, we have four 80 to 85 minute blocks. And so teaching people this new routine that things are going to be a bit different and helping them transition and ease into that routine is going to be important important and necessary. So class schedules are different, homework is different, assignments are different. And so teaching students, you know, what is that new routine to transition, help them with that, okay? Some things will be new, some things will be repetition, but part of the focus in September is building those routines. Additionally, some other routines we might not think about is, you know, getting into sleep routines. Being awake and active during the daylight hours, which over summer, and you know, I know many students during the school year, they're only getting one, two, three hours of sleep. Over the summer, you might become entirely nocturnal. You're staying up all night, sleeping through the day. So transitioning back into that routine as well is very important for teachers, getting into that work schedule routine, getting here at a certain time, leaving at a certain time, you know, doing all your printing, doing all your prep, your planning, all this sort of stuff. Next up, we have relationships. So Building new relationships is very important in September. You have all these new students, so you got to learn their names, right? You got to get to know them, and they got to get to know you and start to get a feel for one another, right? And this still builds on the expectations and the routines, but building that bridge and extending that, uh, let's say, friendship to this new group of people that's coming into the school. Reconnecting with colleagues as well is very important. So building that unity in the school is going to be very necessary as well reconnecting with former students as well. So just connecting, seeing where they're at, right? Because we're at Christ the King, we're a very small school, so we're gonna see each other constantly. And so making sure that we stay in touch is very important in September, it really sets the tempo for the rest of the year. I, I really believe that. Additionally, you know, in, in building those relationships and connecting with colleagues is identifying some of those challenging students or challenging behaviors and figuring out and working together as a team, coming up with effective solutions, very important for September, right? And this is all necessary to kickstart a good rest of the year, right? If we start off bad, it's going to be very hard to fix these things. But if we start on the right foot, start in the right way, it's going to be a whole lot easier the whole year. So in conclusion, you know, if you're watching this, if you're still listening, have a wonderful start to your school year. 
get out there, make some new friends, and learn more about your teachers. Thank you. Bye.